Here we go again. Another shooting, you heard? This time Odessa, Texas. What's going on, man? Marcus Conti reporting. Beautiful day in New York, early in the morning. <laughs> wow, what's going on in our country? Why are everybody shooting? Why, why are these, all these shootings going on, right? It's the gun, right? No. So, I'll read off the, the details. This is what the, the, the authorities want us to talk about, the big distraction. How many shootings this, you know, recently? The garlic shooting, there's El Paso, Texas, there's Dayton, Ohio, there's two months ago, the, the New Zealand shooting. There's so many shootings. Shooting up the joint, right? They all seem to be the same MO. That same, same uh, mental observation, young, white, angry. But what's the real cause of it? Is it being young and white and angry or having a gun? No, it's none of those things. It's more of a, it's more of the problem of, you know, so, social deprivation, um, opioid crises in America, a sense of discontent, a, a mental breakdown of sorts, people going down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theory, not knowing what is true and what is not true, profiteers profiting on that confusion. That military industrial complex, pharmaceutical industrial complex, war. Right? That's what causes it. That's what causes Is it a PSYOP? Is it a government plot to, to create these shootings that they didn't happen? This is, do you believe that they didn't happen? Well, I believe that they are happening, but... I don't believe that it's a government-run false flag. I think it's that a government has an interest in using the, the incident to cover up other stuff. For instance, what's going on in Hong Kong right now. Democracy is falling, and the United States is allowing it to happen. So is the rest of the world. While Hong Kong falls to communist China, America wants you to talk about a shooting in Odessa, Texas. Okay, so let's look at the details. Fresh off the press. Ready? So Odessa, Texas. Shooting. Five dead, 21 injured. The shooter is claimed to be dead. He is white. He is male. He is mid-30s. We don't know his name. We have not seen a picture of him. We don't know if there's a manifesto. There's no Facebook, you know, no social um, social media profiles like because we don't know his name, so how are we going to get it? All right? So, he apparently shot, started at, at uh, 3.17 p.m. yesterday. He was traveling on Interstate 20. He shot a cop out the window of his car at, on Interstate 20 and then proceeded on the road shooting others. So, it was like a like a... A car, a car kind of thing, you know, like a like a road rage kind of car guy, shooting people out the window, right? And then he stole a mail truck and did some more shooting, and that's where they shot him. Right? They shot him in a movie theater parking lot, Synergy in Odessa. So, it's just another day in America, right? 330 million people. 40 million people with guns. A lot of guns in America. Is that the problem? No. One in 40 million. One crackpot. One psychopath that decides to shoot up a, a you know, shoot, start shooting people. It's not necessarily a gun problem. It's not a gun problem at all. Because if it weren't the gun, he'd be taking the car, running people over. Or, you know, throwing Molotov cocktail bombs in crowded, busy sp spaces. Or... Taking out a stick and beating people to death, right? Instead of looking at instead of looking at what's going on in Hong Kong where, you know, democracy is falling to communism, where great democracy in, in Hong Kong is now, you know, falling to communist China, we're focusing on this other crap. Right? He was shooting each other. Right? Shooting at each other. So you know, there's the, uh, the garlic shooter. There's a lot of it, right? Garlic shooter. What else? The El Paso, Texas shooter. The Dayton, Ohio shooter. The New Zealand shooter. Right? 
Thousand Oaks and California shootings. All these shootings, right? Now, are they government FFs? Are they, are they sanctioned events? Um, I, I don't think so. I think it's more insidious than that. I think it's more a, you know, it's um, a sick society. I had a friend that was in a band, this hardcore band called Sick Society. I used to laugh at him in the 80s. Ah, oh, the society isn't sick. And they were calling all this shit, this, you know, all these, these crises is back in the 80s. And they were doing it in song. That's Sick Society. Look it up. And, um, local band. <laughs> anyway, is it, is it, um, government sanctioned PSYOP or is it just a lot of loose fuses blowing all at once because of the discontent in America? the social disorder people down rabbit holes and online conspiracy rabbit holes they don't know fact from fiction they buy into the char you know the charlatans that are you know selling fear porn or whatever else they're doing right trying to get you to not pay attention and once they do that they get a gang together right and then the, the gang of misfits right? trying to confuse the issue right fall victim to all that stuff Q. Uh, that's what Q is. Uh, it's all that shit, right? All the conspiracy theories that the lesser ones that I had had talked about with all the LARPers. People go down these rabbit holes, right? And, you know, they're discontent. The opioid crisis. People strung out on pharmaceuticals. Right? Pharmaceutical industrial complex. Military industrial complex. Right? Banking industrial complex. All these billionaires, 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 making money on the backs of everybody else, keeping them in the, in the slave pit to fight each other. That's what's going on. So we'll find out new details about this new Odessa, Texas killer. We'll find out that he was white in mid-30s, and he was angry, and he was pissed off, and he had no allegiance to any higher group outside of the country. He was an internal terrorist. And then they'll say it was the gun. The Democrats are already lining up to say, see the gun, the gun did it, it's guns, it's gun, gun, see the gun, NRA, the gun, it's got to take away the guns. You take away the guns, all the problems will go away. No, it just gets worse. And you get more people on medications. Right? You have to address the, the, the problem of object poverty in this country. That's the problem. So. Marcus Conti reporting. Get out today, don't, don't take any medications. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy the enjoy the weather. I don't have my joystick right now, so my arm hurts. Hope it's not too wobbly. You know, enjoy yourself. Right? Smell the air, breathe, exercise, eat right. Now you don't have to be a vegetarian like me. You don't have to go to that extreme, but you have to take care of yourself. Right? Right? That's that's the key. Right? Strong mind, st strong body, strong mind. Exercise, sleep. Don't listen to the noise in your head. And right? maybe we could, you know, maybe, maybe there is a political solution to this problem. Maybe there is not a political solution. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. But for, I, for me, I stay in the truth. Marcus Conti reporting.